What's up, y'all? This is Ty. I'm here tonight. I'm feeling good. I'm here tonight to give you a little entertainment news. I'm feeling good. I'm gassed up. I want to thank you all for lately you've been watching a brother's videos. I want to shout out to my new subscriber, Word Life, for subscribing and leaving that cool comment. You know what she said? She said I was funny. She said I was hilarious. And that's why she, she um, subscribes off the strength of my great personality. So a brother is gassed up tonight. So here I am tonight doing another video. I should be in bed, but I'm doing another video. Y'all, y'all like my tree, the tree. Don't judge the tree. I know it's looking a little, I'm looking a little shaky here. Wait, let me fix myself. I'm not looking, I gotta get on camera looking all sloppy. There we go. You see my tree? My son knocked the tree down, so the, the poor little star is a little crooked now. We're going to fix that later. Let me get in front of that because I don't need y'all in the comment section telling me how my tree is jacked up. But it's really nice, really nice. We're in the holiday mood. But anyway, this is entertainment news. I'm going to discuss some things going on in, in, in the entertainment world that have me excited. First thing, let's talk about... The legendary comedian and actor, Mr. Eddie Murphy. Now, Eddie Murphy is out here recently in this great film, um, Dolomite is my name. But what I'm excited about is this Saturday, he is going to be on Saturday Night Live hosting. And this is his first time hosting. He hasn't been on the show in like 35 years or something like that. Now, this is, this is where he got his start on Saturday Night Live. And we know Eddie Murphy for films like Coming to America, um, Beverly Hills Cop, 48 Hours, um, Trading Places, Boomerang, um, The Nutty Professor. The Nutty Professor, too. I didn't really like that one too much. Um... Younger kids known for the Dr. Doolittles and the, the, you know, the Haunted Mansion things he was doing. He had a few misses in there. But Eddie always bring, brought us some really cool, funny films. Um, so now, like I said, he's going to be on Saturday Night Live this Saturday. Um, they, you know, he has some classic characters when he was on that show. He did the Mr. Robinson. He did Gumby. He did Buckwheat. Um, James Brown hot tub. Ha! So it will be interesting to see, you know, because it's been a long time. He hasn't done stand up in a while. He's we know he's still funny because he does some movies that are he's still funny in those movies. But let's see how he does as the host and returning to this show doing skits. Now Saturday Night Live itself, the show's been on for. 500 years and so with his season 501 <laughs> you know the show's been on a long time i think it's 40 plus years and the last time eddie was there he made a brief appearance at the um reunion show he came out for like two seconds he was dry we knew that there was some tension between him and the cast of well, him and whoever from saturday night live so him returning was a big deal they made it a big deal when they did that 40th anniversary and it was it was okay, but now he's actually going to be on the actual show doing skits, hosting. This is not the reunion thing. This is this is a big. This is going to be a big deal. So I'm hoping that it's really really good. I'm hoping that it's really good and that we can get some of that magic, that classic magic. And I'm looking forward to. I'm I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be a whole bunch of good special guest there. I read somewhere that his children, all 10 of them, why they had to mention how many kids, why are they trying to be, you know, shady towards him? Oh, Eddie Murphy's 10 kids are all going to be, why do you have this? Just say his children, his kids were going to be in New York to watch him host Saturday Night Live. Why do you have to say 10 kids? The man can't afford it. So he can definitely afford it. So I don't know why they was trying to throw it out like, you know, he got a bunch of kids. He can afford it. Now, if that was me and you was like, yeah, Ty going to be there with his 10 kids. If Ty had 10 kids, then that's something to make a big deal about. But a man with his money, stop it, y'all. His, his kids are well taken care of. I didn't like that in the article that I read. I seemed like they were being a little shady. Oh, lady and his 10, all 10 of his kids, all 10 that he's taking care of. So that, that's, but see, it's another story. Anyway, also on the show with him is going to be Lizzo. Y'all know Lizzo, right? The pop singer, rapper, actor. She's not an actress. Rapper. She plays the flute. She 
goes to basketball games with a butt hanging out and everybody went in the uproar. They went crazy because, you know, people acting like this is the first time they've seen some butt hanging out. But the thing is, I get it. Some people were very upset with her. It caused a big controversy, but it kept her name in your mouth, you know. They were pissed off with Lizzo because she went to this basketball game with her butt cheeks hanging out. And, yeah, it bothered me. Not even in re I wouldn't say it bothered me. I thought it was a little tacky and that maybe she should stick to doing that at her concerts and not at a basketball game. That was my take, but I wasn't in a big uproar like a lot of people. And some people said people were upset because they were, uh, she's a big girl and it was fat shaming. And other people just thought it was just tacky. So, you know, I understood both sides. I... My biggest issue was how you sitting in those public seats with your butt hanging out, your butt touching the germs. I was just thinking germs, Lizzo, germs. But anyway, Lizzo is going to be the musical guest on Saturday Night Live when Eddie Murphy hosts. So it should be fun. It should be exciting. I'm looking forward to it, and um, I hope it makes me laugh. I set my DVR because, you know, sometimes a brother be falling asleep early and missing everything. I can't stay up late like I used to. So I set my DVR for this because I'm looking forward to Eddie Murphy's return to Saturday Night Live and special guest Lizzo. Now, other news. What else is going on? Fans are in an uproar about the... New Star Wars movie, which is the final installment there. This is what? The 300th Star Wars film. No, this, <laughs> you know, this is Star Wars 300. No, this is the ninth installment. This is um, the rise, Star Wars, the rise of Skywalker. And it is getting pound. Well, from what I saw, critics are upset. Fans are upset. They're saying, I read this is the worst Star Wars ever. Someone said it's the second worst rated as far as reviews Star Wars film. Um, I'll just say this. You're never going to please all of the fans. This is a franchise that's been out since, what, 1977 or something like that. It's been out a long, long time. Nothing is going to, you're never going to be able to repeat the magic, in my opinion, the magic of the original films. They're never going to, it's just not going to happen. So the people being upset, but they're saying, and I want to go see it. I'm still going to go check it out because they're saying that, you know, people are really, a lot of people I know also are really pissed off. Some that have already seen it and some of the reviews I've read. They are pissed off with this film. But, I mean, guys, really, we have not been able to recreate the magic of the first film or the first three films. We haven't. So, I mean, I don't know why everybody's in such an uproar. But, you know, I'll go check it out. Now, this one made me laugh. Another film coming out is... Cats, y'all know that memories, blah, 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 blah. I remember that song because back in the day when the Broadway play Cats was out, the Andrew Lloyd Webber play, the hit musical, that commercial used to play all the time. Memories, Cats at the Winter Garden Theater. Uh, they used to do all that, the, the accident, an accident, the humans had an accident. You see these, you know, cats or whatever. And they, I've never seen Cats. And I remember as a little boy when it was out, and I think they revived it, but when it was out on Broadway, they were saying Cats now and forever. So I, I thought it was going to be on Broadway forever. You said now and forever. You know, I was young, so, you know, excuse me. I thought it was, but it was on Broadway for like 20 years or something like that. I'd never seen it, but then I saw the clips in the previews for the movie adaptation and that looks creepy to me. I don't want to. You know what? I don't want to see that that movie adaptation. It looks creepy. They they should have got animated. They should have animated the thing, and just did it that way because they they look creepy to me. Because it was I was like that works on the, the the Broadway play. You had humans dressed in the cat outfits and they had human legs and all that. You know. That works for Broadway, but translating that to screen, it just looks creepy. I don't know, it just looks creepy. And it's a good cast. They have Ian McKellen, Idris Elba, Taylor Swift, Jennifer Hudson, Judy Dench, James Corbin, and um, Jason Derulio. Now, he made a statement lashing back, because this is another film 
the critics are tearing this film up too. Um, Rolling Stone, I think, said the this is the disastrous attempt to bring Andrew Lloyd Webber's hit musical to the screen. It shouldn't happen to a dog. <laughs> they are dogging cats. That's funny. They're dogging cats. They do and in, and so Jason Derulio has responded saying that critics don't know art and what film have they made? He's in his feelings. He's like, listen, y'all don't know art. Y'all can't be talking about cats. What do y'all know? What do y'all know? So he's pissed off about that because he's saying they don't know art. That it's a great film. Maybe it is. Are y'all gonna go see Cats? Are y'all gonna go see um, Star Wars? Are you gonna go? Are you gonna watch Saturday Night Live on Saturday? I hope you do. But you know, maybe, maybe it will be okay. But in my opinion, Cats, it just it looks bad. It looks bad. It looks creepy. Like it just, it doesn't look like it's it's gonna translate well. And I didn't see the play, but it just doesn't. It just doesn't look like it's going to translate well to me. That's just basically my opinion. So that's all I wanted to talk about real quick. Uh, perhaps I'll come back and discuss the Saturday Night Live because I'm going to watch it. I'll come back and discuss that. Maybe I'll do a review on Star Wars. I don't know. But I want to thank you all. Um, leave your comments below, your thoughts on what I've said. Oh, let me show you something real quick. Oh, look at this. Since it's the holidays, let me end the video with this. Look, isn't that... <laughs> I'm so goofy, right? We had this big Christmas party at work, and look look at it. Lights up. Oh, my kids going to like this. We're going to have some fun with this. Look at that. So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and... So I should end with a song, right? I should do, hang all the mistletoes. I'm going to get to know you better this Christmas. Fireside is blazing bright. We're caroling through the night. And I'll do like Dionne Warwick. And this Christmas something, something, something. Did y'all see that <laughs> on Good Morning America? One more thing. Did y'all see her on Good Morning America singing um, this Christmas with, I forgot the young man's name she was on there with. But she was, she uh, has Dionne Warwick, legendary Dionne Warwick, has a new Christmas album out. And she was singing a duet. I can't think of his name. He sings, I need a dollar. Dollar's what I need. But I can't think of his name. But she was singing with him. And they were doing this Christmas. Hang on. And she started it off. Yeah. Dion was ready. And she forgot the words. <laughs> it was hilarious. I mean, she kept going because she's a pro. But she says something like, she literally did this on live TV. It was like, a, hang on the mistletoe. I'm going to get to know you better this Christmas. And then it's supposed to be, and as we trim the tree, she said, the Christmas tree, sun and sun, Christmas, Christmas, something like that. It was hilarious. Look for it if you can. I know it was all over social media. It was hilarious. I said she forgot the words, but Dion Ward gets a pass. She's a legend, and she's about 75, 76, something like that. So she, she gets a pass in my book. So anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. That's it. I'm out. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, happy holidays.